so hello everyone welcome back now let us start with problem number 5.11 of griffith's electrodynamics and which is on page number 229 all right so we are given with a uh, uh, solenoid with two angles theta 1 and theta 2 and we need to find the magnetic field at point p and it is tightly bound with n turns per unit length and we need to express our answer in theta 1 theta 2 so we very well know that for a uh, uh, ring for a ring circular ring for a circular ring the magnetic field at a axial point it is equal to mu naught i r square upon 2 into r square plus x square by uh, 3 by 2 and this is uh, what is this x x is the uh, small uh, we can say that uh, elementary um, surface we have considered small portion or elementary portion we have considered in the ring that is that uh, the distance from elementary position to the axis is the x so we'll we'll suppose it here also so we'll go with this formula only but and now what what, what we'll do is we'll suppose a elementary portion over here suppose let me draw it clearly so we'll suppose a uh, elementary position of uh, thickness dx at a distance x from that axial point so we have supposed an elementary po uh, portion dx which is at a distance x from that p point so uh, what we can see that uh, how will the magnetic field vary here mu naught i'll use uh, the capital n only uh, mu naught n i r square upon 2l I guess I missed uh, L here. Oh, all right. Um, it it uh, it was small L and uh, ring is only a single surface, so that's why. So R square plus X square by three by two, and uh, more precisely, R here is A. So I'll be using a, uh, R instead of A. That's 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 a uh, only a simple problem, nothing more than that. So you can consider it by yourself only. So DB and what will vary here? Vary. Uh, the variation will come in the dn sorry I, I i wrote n here and will not come the variation will come in the n here dn sorry because number of turns have have increased so that's why sorry l will also not come just uh, because i have increased the number of turns so the magnetic field will uh, will increase according to these numbers so, so we, we need to replace this dn somehow that it, it will take the uh, it will take the uh, uh, dx n l and dx in it so somehow we need to replace this dn by this so that we can integrate and do other things with the magnetic field which will help us to find our answer because because uh, after taking a small portion if we integrate over the whole uh, surface then then only we can get now then only we can get a magnetic field here that's why uh, we have supposed dx or oh, dn sorry so uh, let's uh, uh, let's write the relation the relation can be n by l is equal to dn by dx so number of turns and length or you can say that uh, n is equal to um, uh, d small n this can also be written but this is the more trivial way we write these things so th 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 obviously this does, does not look does not look good so db and i guess it's not even correct to write it like this so i uh, please avoid to write write, write like this so uh, db is equal to mu naught now we can place n because we are replacing dn by dx and other things n i r square by 2l r square plus x square 3 by 2 and here comes the dx so and uh, th this is the uh, now in integrating both sides why integrating because we need to we need to calculate the magnetic field for whole for the whole solenoid now first of all we have supposed a ring uh, we have written a, a formula for our ring then we have uh, suppose a small uh, portion that suppose this is the ring and then we are taking this uh, point p and in, uh, calculating the magnetic field then we integrate it so that we can get the whole uh, solenoid that's why uh, we have integrated it here mu naught n i uh, r square by 2l and this is that l that in that is given the question uh, per unit length per unit length yes this is that this is that l sorry so uh, we get uh, we need to 
uh, integrate here r square plus x square so we need here the integration of class class 12th will appear so we need to suppose that uh, suppose x is equal to r tan theta and measure the, me the main thing how will the limit will vary the limit will vary from d1 what is d1 d1 is the length from uh, point p to this d1 is this and d2 is the whole all right So these, so it, it uh, magnetic field uh, we need to calculate is from uh, the limits will vary from d1 to d2 to d1. This is the main thing. Why I have supposed here d1 because uh, if we cal if we use the uh, uh, if we use the theta one and theta two things then we we'll, we need to replace with this with theta and uh, the area uh, the sector part will come one upon two by other things will come. We'll replace it later on. We'll just put the formula of uh, sine theta or tan theta. We'll we'll see what will appear. So x is equal to. Uh, so we'll suppose that the uh, that this is uh, this x this x this is a obviously the r r and we we have suppose that this is equal to r x is equal to r tan theta. All right. Now, what we'll do is uh, we'll put our values here. Dx is equal to r uh, secant square theta d theta. So b is equal to mu naught n i. It is all constant, and uh, by 2l integration d1 to d2 and r square and r square already r cube will appear because r square also here also and then. Uh, this got cancelled with square root and then r cube work will appear. So 1 plus 10 10 square theta will appear inside the bracket. All right. It is equal to secant square theta and 1 power 1 by 2 and, and with 3. So we'll get secant cube theta and on the upside due to dx we'll get r cube secant square d theta. And I guess 1 r uh, one r will also one r square will also come here uh, somewhere go to yes this uh, this r cube got cancelled now mu naught n i by two l integration is from d1 to d2 and we'll add cos theta simply we can see that so it is all uh, what is cos theta d theta the, the uh, then again we'll reduce it to uh, we can reduce it to uh, what is cos theta it is uh, sine theta integration of cos theta and d1 to d2 sorry the limits are from d1 to d2 mu naught n i by l so sine theta from the triangle we can see that it will uh, come as uh, if this is theta this was our r and this was our x square plus r square and this was our x so it becomes sine theta becomes x by under root r square plus x square with d1 and d2 and mu naught n i i guess i left a 2 here 2 l so now b is equal to magnetic field comes out to be mu naught i am replacing n by l as small l or small n and by 2 and with a uh, d2 by under root r square plus x square minus d1 by under root r square plus oh sorry d1 here it will come d1 square here it will come d2 square all right so this is the magnetic field uh, due to uh, this a some axial point now he he saying that express your answer in, in in terms of theta 1 theta 2 so it is just simple what is d1 d1 is the base you can see that this is the base and uh, we are given with the hypotenuse 
well, in, in the in the in our answer we are so base upon our hypotenuse is cos theta obviously so b is equal to mu naught n i by 2 cos theta 2 minus cos theta 1 I guess what is uh, d2 has theta 2 now yeah so d2 has theta 2 that's why cos theta 2 minus cos theta 1 answer so the other thing he is saying that this is answer he is saying that express your answer consider the turns to be essentially circular use in this what is the field on the axis of the infinite all right he is saying that if the if the solenoid is infinite uh, for long long solenoid what uh, what it will be the what what will be the value of uh, sorry what will be the value of magnetic field so for a long solenoid mu naught ni by 2 long solenoid means theta 1 it is equal to uh, it means if just a second if uh, long solenoid uh, solenoid means this has become pi and this has become zero because it it, it went so well uh, so far away that it will become zero only now so theta theta 2 has become zero so cos zero degree is one and pi why pi because it it has become uh, 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 parallel to that now so that's why cos pi is minus one i'll write minus one directly minus one so it is mu naught ni by 2 into 2 it is mu naught ni so this is the magnetic field due to a large solenoid or a long solenoid and we are calculating magnetic field at the end so in the example 6 i, I think he's saying uh, magnetic field at the end so here the angle becomes y and uh, you you can you can see with uh, what, in, what he's saying in example 6 i just calculated for the infinite long solenoid at uh, at a at the end point at the end point so just write it here end point due to end point b at end point so that's all for this video see you next video bye bye thank you